morning and welcome back everyone to another Sumi Shaves video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Squad goals. You know how we do it here. Thank you so much for clicking into the video and for joining me. I hope you have yourself something cold, carbonated, and caffeinated today. And a comfy chair, will it on in. Welcome to the Shave Den. Today we're going to be rocking out with the Enders Speed Razor right here with DE blades guys you can even see the DE blades sitting on top of the shim blade here we've got DE blades in the late model very very hard to find flat bar enders razor that Jim has allowed us to keep for a couple more days to get a couple more shaves with I love this thing I'm telling you how I just I wore a different I wore a red shirt I wore a red shirt just to match it I'm so excited to get to use this and I'm so excited to get to share it one more time on YouTube this right here is amazing. It's an incredible shaver. It's very mild. And compared to the open comb variation, it's much harder to find. I can tell you guys, I've only seen like two or three of these. Really cool. What a gem. What a treasure right here, right? This is like walking onto the um, Ferrari floor, going straight up to like the antique that's sitting out for like display and saying, I'm going to take that out for a spin. It's so awesome. And I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm honored. And thank you again. Huge shout out to John or to Jim, excuse me. For letting us use this Jim thank you so much I really do appreciate it ah yes what a cool little razor let's get it done today we're gonna be rocking out with Kichua Kichua right here this is the first line shave scent it's very nice I know when I, it's actually a combo set it's a, col a collab set and when I spoke with first line shaves they said they thought it was too strong for the general user it's like a really green scent that goes like nice and effervescent and then it goes super super yeah, it goes really, really smoky. I really like it. It's a fun scent. We've got the splash. <laughs> we got the splash, and we're going to be using Eros Flame on top of that with the smallest bottle you've ever seen in your life. Tiny little bottle. I've already got it whipped up and on the dome to save us some time this morning. I hope that helps with uh, saving some time. And check it out, guys. Look at this. It just absolutely, it kills. It just, it kills. I mean, come on. Look at this. That's not pudding, and there's no hairs floating around in there. Look at this. Look at it go on. It's thick, it's hydrated, and it just go. it paints. It paints all day long. Like I said, it's already on the dome. We'll throw a little extra on for good measure. Good measure. We're on 40 hours here. 40 hours I have not shaved. My wife changed schedules on me. So I am switching things around and it's killing me. So today we're on 40 hours with the Derby Blades. Derby Blades. And I will have the loading video down here. It's very simple. It's, it's the exact same way I've always loaded my enders up with the DE Blades. I make sure that it has a little bit of a wing, a little bit of a curve to the blade with snapping. Do that in paper. Don't do it like I did with the blade exposed. I did that so I could showcase what's happening. Do it in the paper. It's much safer. Um, and we're going to start shaving here. This right here, I want to show you guys before I start shaving, actually. Look at the blade exposure and look at how the, the look at the gap here. I'm trying to get that. I hope that gets on camera. Does that help? I want you guys to see where I run my blade because you can adjust where the blade sits. I need it to be pretty far forward. Yeah. To get the most out of the Ender's Speed Razor with the flat bar. Now with the open comb, I don't have to run it as that far forward. But with this one, I've really found that I need to. This is a hyper smooth, extraordinarily smooth, very efficient razor. Very efficient, very comfortable. I was noticing how comfortable this razor is. In the hand, on the skin, very nice from the 30s. It is from the 30s. It was produced in Mystic, Connecticut. And this variation, oddly enough, is the lightest of the enders that I've experienced and tried out. You guys watching how much it's taking off? Look at all the soap and look where the lather kind of goes up through too. You see all the, the where the lather and where all the stubble kind of feeds up through the back end of the razor? I think this is really cool. I think it's a really awesome way it feeds the lather. The little lather beard goes up and around and through the back end of the razor. Really cool. It is a razor that I don't do a ton of pressing with because you don't really need to for it to be smooth and efficient. Well, at the same time, yeah, it's very, very, very nice. Very comfortable. Very easy to use. Very nice. It's very fun to pick up. I, will, I won't lie to you guys. It's really fun to pick up. Oh, yeah. Again, huge shout out to Jim who found this antique shopping. Seriously, when I go out antiquing, I find 45 Rolls Razors. That is it. Rolls Razors all day long. And the seller thinks that he has just hit the jackpot with them. And he wants $9 million for the Rolls Razor. Every single one of them. 
I had one person tell me, well, it's like the Rolls Royce razor, so it should cost as much, right? And I was like, no, no, it should not cost as much. The click clack razor, as my wife refers to it as, should not cost $9 million. And they're like, oh, for sure, I know what I have. So Jim found this out antiquing, which is craziness, right? That's like equivalent, and I apologize, Sophie's with me today. Uh, she was not going to sit outside the door. But it's like going out and finding a leprechaun's pot of gold. And I reached out to Jim and I said, you know, don't have somebody uh, buy that for me for $5. You know, don't have somebody reach out and say, oh, it's not that good, I'll give you five bucks. Which I don't think would happen, but I wanted to make sure it didn't. Right? I just wanted to throw a little bit of goodwill and good uh, karma into the world and said, you know, make sure you understand how rare and how fortunate you are to have found something that was so limited, right? These were usually shipped with open combs. They had like an open uh, open comb bar. Really nice, man. Really sweet. Really good shape. And I want to show you guys, we're not having any blade play, right? You see that? It's really important to mention that the blade's not moving around on 48 hours or 40, 40 something hours of stubble here. That's really important that it's not, you know, moving around on me and like going all over the place. And it, that it's safe, it'll be safe for you. I think really the key is making sure that the mouth of the blade, the, the curve of the blade goes downwards. You don't want it going up into the top of the razor, you want it going down into the blade, which is going to help stabilize things. Really smooth shave, very smooth. Very comfortable. I think what I love about this is how fast I get a BBS shave and how comfortable the shave is. I do find the later edition of this razor to be just a tad milder than the open comb earlier generation, the pre 40s generation. So this is like a post, this is like a late 40s and my um, early 30s variation of the Enders is definitely more bitey. More bitey and uh, it's a lot. It's it's like probably three steps up in efficiency. This feels to me like a two or a three on blade fill, and like a four on efficiency, four to five. So it's still offset, but the other one's like a six and an eight or something. Look, there you guys go. Look at it. It's killing it. It's killing it. Oh, that's what I needed. Oh, I love love knocking out forty eight hours of stubble because you go from that Velcro fill to the absolutely crystal fill, and that's just lovely. Oh yeah, the derby blades are nothing to um, scoff at. But yeah, it's really cool he found one that's so, you know, so rare, so oddballish. And I was honored when he said he would let me borrow the razor to put it on YouTube, because I couldn't find a single YouTuber that has tried this out. And I wanted to really get in there and show everybody how wonderful it is to shave with, and how fun it is like to, you know, load a DE blade into it and really get a shave. Now, I, I do think the DE injector blade is the better um, method on this razor. I like the DE blade on the old one, on the um, first gen. But this second gen really plays well with the, the injector blade, I think. I don't know if it's because the injector blade, you know, just seems to be a little more efficient. I, I, I get a little bit better shave with the injector blade, to be really honest. But I want to showcase you could do this in a pinch. You absolutely can and could, and it is shaving very, very nicely. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Really good shave. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Taking it out for a spin. Definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Yeah. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah, that's great. Gravy shave. Honestly, gravy shave. Maybe not the um, fastest of the fast, right, for us, as far as efficiency goes. Very easy to navigate, very easy to uh, manipulate, and very smooth shave. Very, very smooth shave. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jim. This is phenomenal. It's a really fun razor. Really cool little piece of history. And because it was manufactured down the street for me, right, it was produced in Connecticut, just down the street for me. Really cool. I think it's just, it's it's almost even cooler because it was made locationally, right? It's down the street. The splash, it's not too strong. The the stink is not too strong. It is lovely. Yeah, that's that's enough smell though. Where if you got on a train, people would turn around and say, "Whoa, what is that?" It is strong for sure. I love Kichua. Kichua worth it. We're going on top of that with a small little arrows, teeny tiny, teeny tiny, going on top. 
Oh, it's interesting how well that pairs. I don't know if it was like meant to pair with that, but Aero's Flame really works well with it. What a shave. What an awesome, comfortable, close BBS, beyond BBS actually. We are very, very close. Yeah, it's a good shave. Thank you guys for joining me for it. It was awesome having you here. Please, if you haven't, go below, hit the like and subscribe button for me. We're so close to hitting the milestone of a thousand subscribers. I cannot believe it. It's wild. I just, we're right there. It is so amazing to me. And I'm baffled. I'm speechless. Guys, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It blows my mind. I, I really do appreciate the support, the love, and you guys being here on the regular. Wow. I mean, it really did it leaves me speechless. I mean that from the heart, 100%. Truly, I couldn't express it any deeper or any more, um, you know, sincerely. I really do appreciate everyone being here. It really means the world to me. I hope we get more of these kind of razors going forward because I love using them and I love showcasing you can use them. And please, if you, there's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. I, I am happy to do whatever you guys want to see. That's what we're here for. It's a squad goal thing. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shares video. Subi out.